Hi friends. So quickly, let's uh, take a, take a look at the next uh, few things on, on the cube. What we are uh, going to do here. So uh, starting from where we left, uh, we have this cube here, and uh, let's take a look how we can filter the data for our browsing purposes. So, so we drag and drop the sales amount, and and then let's take a look uh, at say we size by color. Uh, we put. So it it's it gives you the aggregated value of the sales amount based upon the size, uh, based upon the color, and then uh, by its its size. Now, let's say we want to filter it. Uh, so let's see how we can do that. So just go select the dimension that you want. We selecting the products uh, dimension, then size by color, and then the operator equal. Then we filter it. Uh, we get we want the blue for the blue we want these four sizes and then we uh, then it is applied so so as you can see uh, this is a quick way of uh, filtering out your browse uh, whatever data that you have browsed you can filter it out with the help of uh, this uh, filter expressions it's quite handy uh, next what we uh, would like to see let's clear this results and, and then delete uh, this now as we had seen in the dimension uh, the, the the employee dimension is not quite related with the fact internet sales uh, so let's uh, pull out the orders sales amount and pull out the employee key uh, if we are trying to browse the amount remains fixed and it is uh, redundantly uh, being applied across every uh, hierarchy I mean if I would want to show the same is the thing for order quantity uh, again it is it is same which which is nonsense absolutely nonsense it doesn't make sense because they are not uh, interconnected so to uh, help us understand I mean what is uh, let's see how we can make this uh, data a little more sensible uh, so what we do here is for the measure uh, we go on to the properties and then we say ignore unrelated dimensions we let's make it false and then reprocess right uh, let's try to reconnect and refresh uh, so now if we go ahead and pull out the order quantity uh, the thing would break absolutely so it doesn't provide you the, the data because they are not inter, uh, interconnected so it doesn't make sense to even uh, try to do so if we do that uh, for the sales amount as well it breaks so uh, this is uh, an important thing that I wanted uh, you to uh, know and understand now we clear out the results now let's go ahead and, and see the measures uh, what we do here is we try a little formatting so uh, say we put that the sales uh, order data into thousands this would uh, mean uh, and the sales amount in dollars similarly order quantity as well and So what we have done is we have formatted uh, the numeric value for the order quantity in thousands and the sales amount with the uh, dollar prefix. Uh, let's process this and see. Uh, and remember the important thing is uh, when uh, this is something the dollar amount would uh, not always be dollar in, in, in for standard cubes because if we do not translate the data from one uh, region to another there would be no currency uh, changes or, or exchange rates that would be applied it would simply uh, result in, in a dollar and the numbers uh, across wherever you wherever from whichever location you are trying to access is, access the data so uh, remember that so there is no change uh, now leak reconnect and we say order quantity uh, as you can see it has been broken up into thousands and product by category right uh, similarly if I also would want to add the sales um, so 
we have done a little bit of formatting here uh, for the data to look a little uh, wiser and better. Uh, next, what we would do is we would try to add a new measure and then also understand and then eventually we would go and understand what KPIs are and how we can uh, add calculations and expressions. So uh, stay tuned to the next for the next video where we do all those handy stuffs. Uh, thank you, friends. Uh, till the next video. Keep watching and keep learning. Thank you.